Hey guys, it's MC Gamers here with another FNAF Key Theory. This one is actually from a Reddit thread, so make sure you click the link in the description box to see the full thread. Alright, let's get to the theory. If you've ever played Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you'll know that there are four cutscenes between nights where you are in Freddy's point of view. This presumably takes place at the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 pizzeria, though the puppet and Golden Freddy appear. There is very little evidence to back this up, but I found some correlation between these cutscenes and the first game. My theory is that the four nights represent the four nights of Phone Guy Shift, as he presumably died on the fourth night call. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. Night 1 cutscene. In this cutscene, just like every other, you play as Freddy, though all you can do is look left and right. Bonnie and Chica are both looking forward, likely not very active on the first night. This is the first night of Phone Guy Shift. Er appears in the top left corner, perhaps an error with Freddy's hardware. Night 2 cutscene. In this cutscene, Bonnie and Chica are sort of glancing at you, shaming you for being so inactive. This is the second night of Phone Guy Shift. It's me appears in the top left corner, possibly hinting at the later appearance of Golden Freddy. Night 3 cutscene. In this cutscene, Bonnie and Chica are staring directly at you, guilting you for not yet killing the phone guy. Bonnie appears eyeless, similar to his game over screen. As you look back to Bonnie from Chica, Golden Freddy appears in front of you, perhaps compelling you to become more predatory towards Phone Guy. This is the third night of Phone Guy Shift. Fourth night cutscene. In this cutscene, Bonnie and Chica are staring straight ahead, much like the first one, but the puppet's mask appears in front of you. Did Freddy do the gig, or was it all of them together? All we know is that this is the last night that Phone Guy has heard from, so we'll never know. The garble that we hear on the fifth night could be the puppet, as proven by his appearance in both games. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all later with another FNAF theory. Peace out, guys. Peace out, guys.